Shannon, it's, it's, been, it's been a long time. Yes. A long time. A lot of years. I think it was around about 2000, 99? It had to be 99. 99. 99. 99. 2000. 2000. I think the God Black Talent Show was in 2000. Well, I know I was in it in 99. Because okay, I was so in it the, the uh, year before, also, before you were So in then it. it was 99 then. 99? Well, you know, maybe it was. I don't know. I think it might have been 99 or 2000. Either way, we met in the God Black Talent Show. Yeah. And you were singing. I was probably five or six years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, okay, that means that was nine, eight. I, I can't even count. Right now. I can't count. It's been a long day. Um, yeah. I was a background dancer. Mm -hmm. You were singing. I was singing. It was a talent show. Awesome talent show too. It was fun. And the crazy part is that um, a, a few of the singers have really went on and did. Ruben, one of the twins, mm -hmm. he writes for like Chris Brown, Tank, everybody. Shut up. Yes. For real? Yes. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. He's like doing it and has been for a long time. Oh my gosh. Um, and of course, you know, in my show last night, um, Darius, mm -hmm. he um, plays, he's well known around the city, really good musician. And of course, me and you, we connected and we've stayed connected ever since then. That's crazy. So me and you. So Shannon, you were singing, okay, and then I believe talent show did what you won. You didn't win. So what place did you get? Did you get the second place first? What what was it? Because I remember it was somebody else. Because I remember somebody you had a black dress on. I don't even remember if I placed. I I don't remember. I thought you should have won. I mean. I but I was cheated. Oh, I was cheated out of every talent show. Why? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so then, dang, that was somebody else that I remember from that talent show, and I can't remember right now. But they went on. You did say some people went on and did something, but then we ended up reconnecting back again. Yep, I had to do a show, and I was with the studios called down with its studios and I think you were up there for some reason I can't remember I think they were looking I, I don't know what they were it was some audition or something I well, just something. remember it was some audition or something like that and, and then, then I needed some dancers for my show and then I asked you if you and I was like yeah, yeah. and then from then <laughs> on you've been choreographing everything well not everything but you were singing. Let, let's go back to that. So we were singing. That was your first show. What song was it? Do you remember? Be careful. Should I step to you? <laughs> Walk right on again next to you. Even get to know you because I'm feeling you. Yeah. Maybe get a point for the night. It's still late. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then you sung another song because it was for, I think, Rural Ecology 2000, mm -hmm. 2001. Or, no, 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 no. Um, roof. Indiana Indiana I sung that. I sung Open My Heart. That was kind of my first time singing Open My Heart, I think. And I've been singing the song ever since. Okay. Every wedding and every bar mitzvah. Uh, <laughs> every funeral. Why you saying bar mitzvah? Anytime the whole family get together, I became I Open My Heart campaigner. But that to me was a signature for me. Because, you know. We talk I think for I, I, I think always folks in my family forgot that Yolanda Adams was the one that really sung it. I mean, because I swear that's you guys sound you made that song like mm -hmm. you know. So every time I think of hearing her, every time I hear that song, I think so. Do what last year? So mm -hmm. can you please sing this? Sing this? But um, and then from there it was just like history. Mm -hmm. We've done so many things. Um, I mean, what happened from that point after we hooked up, you did the one show, so what happened? I was going to sign, sign with <laughs> down with the studio, but it just didn't work out. The contract wasn't something that I wanted to do. And I was up there recording music and everything when it came down to do the contract. It just wasn't something that I wanted to sign my life away for, you know? And um, I just felt like they had too many artists that they were working with. And I didn't. I felt like I would be 
kind of on the back burner. And so, um, which was fine. Everything happens for a reason. And I learned a lot over there. Um, I got to reconnect with you. Um, but after that, I up with Lucky and Shorty. And Lucky and introduced me to Shorty. Shorty Shortcut, um, which is a well-known rapper and producer, engineer um, here in the city. And we made a song. We took that song and... Wait, before... Let me back up. Were we dancing with B-Funk before I... Mm -mm. It was after? It was after. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it was after. It was after that? Yeah. I went to backgrounds dancing after I had a song on the radio <laughs> and traveling all over the city. <laughs> Did I? Oh, that's why you know what I'm so I don't even know anymore. You know what? That's why I get irritated by these artists who act like they're too big time. Because I think I was dancing for B Funk after I had a success with that song. <laughs> I humbled myself and I was back there. Funk to the heat. Funk to the heat. Funk it up. Funk it up. Funk it up. Which you can find on YouTube. You know that right. I know. <laughs> I went to being a backup person. After I had that song on the radio, my song was on the radio. It was 5 o'clock jams. It was everything. Like that song, I think I was probably the first female artist, well, even that um that, first radio, singer radio that had ever been up to the radio station and did a live interview with rec one and then i also did a live interview with smiley from the morning show here and like it was incredible what that song did like it put me on a whole nother platform it made me see and i'm referencing me and Shorty's song, Wait On Me. Mm -hmm. um, but it put me on a whole nother platform. Like I was going to other cities that was playing my songs in Philly, remember? Yeah, and yeah. We Ohio, East Chicago, stuff like that. You know, and all these radio stations. Uh, but that's when I know a lot about the business. So a lot of things could have happened with it, but it didn't. You know, but that's okay. I never would have left here had something more happened mm -hmm. with that music. So, and you know, when I said that, um, I advise people who was in the industry, who wants to be in the industry, this is not the market. I say that all the time. This is not the market. So get out, explore. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was probably, I tell you, when you left, I was like, oh. <laughs> you know, because we got so used to each other, mm -hmm. especially with the shows. But from the before the show, I could tell show I could tell you had some type of ground foundation with singing. Mm -hmm. Where where did when did how did you start singing? Well, I've always just sung. I mean, I can remember being a little girl when we were living with my grandmother, singing. My mother dressing me up. My auntie's dressing me up and making me sing Let Me Be Your Angel and different little songs like that. Michael Jackson back when I was a little girl. Man, who wasn't singing Michael Jackson? I was singing Tina Marie too, though. <laughs> Tina Marie, uh, Stacey Lattisall, Denise Williams, Michael Jackson. All that when I was a little five-year-old and four-year-old. little. And then my mom... Um, I was singing at school, like kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I remember being on stage in kindergarten, singing for different things back then. I just have always had it in me. I, I kind of, I think I knew back then, even when I was a little girl, that that's what I would be doing, singing. You know what I'm saying? It was like, um, you know how some people say they knew they were going to grow up and be this. She's always been this or they've always been that when they were little. Mm -hmm. And then they mm -hmm. grow up to be that. I think I knew that back then. So, Let me see, the, thing like, is, the thing is too, um, what is it? So, so 
Shannon Hall, you were a singer. Uh -huh. That's when I met you. You were, you were a singer, but you were also uh, writing your songs too, weren't you? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been writing music since I was a little girl. Um, I writ I've written songs for as long as I can remember. And the way I learned how to write songs was listening to other songs and just taking their words out in my head and writing my own words to it. The songs that I was playing. I didn't have a, a radio or nothing like that growing up until I was a teenager. <laughs> and so That's when great. I would hear music, it was just like, it was just stuff, it was just in my head. Like I would hear something and then it would just be staying in my head, almost like playing in my head on its own. You know what I mean? Because I didn't have access to that when I was a little, little girl, but I was always singing. And but you know, when you're a singer, I mean like, like nothing. I think you, we were talking about it earlier. I think the attempt to me around singing, you know, it's it's not like once you have music in you or some form of entertainment, it just mm -hmm. seems like it just never goes away. Yeah, and it festers, not in a bad way, but in a good in a good way. way you mm -hmm. know, yeah, it becomes a part of who you are. So Shannon, Shannon, how? So I want to, cause. This is my first candid one on one with you, and I want to try to see if we can get some of your family to kind of share in on some stories mm -hmm. because I know Shannon Howe by the performance. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know who Shannon Howe is being a little girl on up. Because we can uh -huh. talk about the other things that you did as an adult. Forever. You know, well, you brought you up to where you are now, but I, I want to know where it started. Yeah. You know, I think I have enough family members here tonight <laughs> that could probably give you a few stories. <laughs> so, you want to go ahead and yeah, bring me? Yeah, let me go get them. Okay. Yes, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay.